Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. <clears throat> In today's MT Predictor video, I'd like to have a look at, tra at a trade on the um, Euro US dollar, a Forex chart that one of our users brought up in our MT Predictor trading webinars yesterday and it was a great example of how to use multi time frame analysis that I've been uh, looking at in the last couple of uh, videos. But first, as usual, let's start with our risk disclaimer. Remind you that all examples of these videos should be considered as hypothetical. No trades were taken, they're just shown for illustration and training purposes only. Remind you there's a risk of loss in trading and investing. Put another way, all professional traders know and understand that losses can and will and do happen. And in fact, we look at a losing trade uh, <clears throat> a little bit later in the video as well. All trade decisions, your own sole responsibility. Right, let's now have a look at the chart. Right, the trade setup that we're uh, looking at is this TS4 Holy Grail cell. This is one, again, that I said that one of our customers brought up that he was actually in and he was uh, talking about it in our MT Predictor customer only uh, training webinar yesterday. So I just want to show you how this TS4 cell fitted in with our multi time frame analysis. This TS4 cell was actually on a 15 minute chart of the Euro US dollar. An initial look is uh, that our MTP trend was red at the time, so the large view trend was down. But as I uh, teach, markets go in cycles, and what we're looking for is to be in uh, that part of the cycle when the pattern looks clean and clear, and when everything comes together for a good looking setup. So for this, let's go out to the higher time frame chart. This is what we always do. The higher time frame chart is between three and five time frames higher, so for a 15 minute forex, you'd go out to the hourly chart. Right, I want to go back to uh, just before uh, where this setup was um, highlighted. So if we just use bar replay and we jump back to <clears throat> in around here somewhere. <clears throat> right, this is about uh, uh, where the trade setup was just about to come in. So let's have a look at the higher time frame DP support and resistance zones. First of all, we go back to this last pivot high, which was here. We right mouse click, place the DP on, and that would have given an area of resistance. We'll see what that looks like when we come on to the shorter term chart in a minute. But you can see how that nailed the high there very nicely. The market was starting to decline. Where was it going to decline to? Well, the first minor resistance would have been off this small pivot low here. Then, as I said in um, the webinar yesterday, the next area of support would have been the DP off this low here. So let's right mouse click, place this DP on. You can see these levels are on the chart in advance before the market actually gets there. Let's just turn training mode off. Let's now go down to the 15 minute chart and see what the setup look, would have looked like at the time. So again, let's use our training mode. Let's jump back to the setup and here it is. So this is a great example of our holy grail trade setup. So what is this? It's basically where we have uh, the market make an initial move off an important high. How do we define the important high? Well, it's a high that comes in at higher time frame resistance. So can you see here how this VS cell came in at our 60 minute resistance? Actually, this was a trade set up in its own rights because the MTP uh, trend was red stroke black at the time. So actually you could have perfectly uh, um, okay to take this particular cell set up as well. But I, I don't want to look at that one because this TS4 cell was the one that our um, user actually reported about at the time. So what is a holy grail cell? Well, as I said, we start off at a, uh, an important high. This is defined as a high on a higher time frame uh, chart or resistance to a higher time frame chart. We then have an initial decline down and initial rally up into what should be a wave two. If I right mouse click, do edit wave major, you can see this is exactly what we had. We had the initial move down, was found as a wave one or A. We then had a correction up into the wave two or BWPT for a potential wave two. Because this is the first initial correction, we play this as if it's a wave two. So if I right mouse click and do the analysis on here, this is why this particular trade setup is so good. Why? Because after a wave two, we normally anticipate a strong wave three swing. 
Wave 3 is normally the strongest and longest in a completed 5 wave sequence, therefore represents or, or has the potential to have the largest profit in relation to the smallest initial risk. Remember we use correct position sizing to vary no our number of lots, in this case uh, risking less than 2% of a sample 20,000 US dollar account. So that would mean short 42 mini lots. Let's now uh, turn trading mode off. <clears throat> Actually no, before that let's go out to the higher time frame uh, resistance, uh, sorry support zones. So can you see that here's our next support zone, our uh, minor support zone down here. So the larger trend was down into that next support zone and then as I also had on the chart the next major uh, support zone, you can, see it's, can you see it says major MJR would be down here at this low here. So if you uh, were looking to play this into the next intermediate or minor support zone, the risk uh, would go up to potentially 3.9 R and if you came all the way down to this particular one, the profit would be increased up to almost 10 R. Now I want to move forward and show you where we were in the uh, webinar and I think we were about, about there. <clears throat> In, in around here somewhere. So we'd, I think we'd gone past this first uh, uh, support zone and the market was uh, going down nicely. And I actually said in, at the time that the next support zone would be down here. So if the market was, was going to get down here, this would be a lovely 10 hour profit. So let's now turn trading mode off. But before we do that, can you see how these levels are on the chart in advance? They're there before the market even gets there. Let's turn trading mode off. And as you can see, that's exactly what uh, the euro did. Whoops, sorry about that. It actually um, came down and look where it made the low. It made the low right at this particular uh, support zone here where a potential 10 hour profit was available. And I think uh, our customer uh, just dropped me an email. Actually, I'll see if I can just uh, find that very quickly. Yes, he said he came out with about a 10 hour profit. I won't show this, the video because obviously I don't want to uh, to show a customer's email address. But so anyway, it's good to see how this unfolded very, very nicely indeed. But the reason I wanted to, uh, to show it in today's video was how it fitted in perfectly with the higher time frame analysis, i.e. the multi time frame analysis we've been talking about in these videos. So where the 15 minute or the shorter term setup was in the direction of our larger degree DP support and resistance zones. Now does this work perfectly all the time? Well no of course it doesn't. And if we have a look now, can you see how here our support came in, the market then rallied up, it then came back down, our MTP trend was blue, there was a buy set up here, so at the time this would have been a perfectly valid and perfectly legitimate uh, buy set up. So let's go forward, here it was a VS set up, so can you see how now this was actually rallying off this uh, major support zone here. So at the time, this would have looked to be a good trade setup. The only thing against it was the profit at the first target was only 1.4R, in other words, less than R to R uh, minimum. So that would have had alarm bells ringing for you to potentially not take this trade in the first place. But let's play devil's advocate and let's say yes, you like the look of that. Perhaps you were saying, thinking that uh, the market might go to a higher target, perhaps up here. So you might have said, well, actually, I'm now going to play for a, a bigger profit. Let's turn trading mode off. And as you can see, it would have taken you into a long trade and then stopped you out. Remember, losses can and will and do happen. It's important to show losing trades in uh, videos. If this um, had been a trade that you've taken, then you'd have lost one risk unit. In other words, one R. That's why we use position sizing. So when you're wrong, you, your losses are kept small, in this case at one risk unit. And when you make profits, in this case, the profit was massive at about 10R or 10 times uh, the other loss. That's what we try to do with MT Predictor. We try to have trades where the profits are much larger than the losses. But remember, losses can and will and do unfold. This is not a case of avoiding them, it's a case of keeping the losses small. So hopefully this has been a good video to show you how to use our MT Predictor trade setups, not just on the time frame you're uh, looking at, but also to uh, see that the trade setup fits in 
with your higher time frame analysis. Just get that one off. And here you can see in this case we had our higher time frame resistance coming in there. There was the initial decline down. Here was the initial rally up into a potential wave two. The market then came down here in a wave three kind of swing. The market went through this first minor support zone, intermediate support zone, but then made a low at our major support zone here on the 15 minute chart. The trade setup then came in on the shorter time frame chart, as we've seen there. But the point being is that this all fitted in with the higher time frame analysis that you've been doing on your higher time frame chart. And that's the trick to using MT Predictor is look for trade setups that fit in with the higher time frame analysis and where everything's coming together to, to do a very clear and clean picture with a nice uh, setup. But remember losses can and will and always do unfold. The trick is keeping those losses small and then having trades where the profits are large. So thank you to the customer for sharing that um, trade setup yesterday with our um, in our MT Predictor uh, training webinar and that's why I wanted to share it today because the market unfolded exactly as we were anticipating where it went down to make a low at that larger degree support zone.